Hello, Scorpio viewers. I've been away for a while, but I'm back now. I'm still doing private readings as well. So if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is, it's right below in the description box below the video. It's dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Um, if this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to get back in the, get the algorithm going again get back in the algorithm so YouTube promotes my videos. So I appreciate the interactions. Anyway, let's get into it. So we have occupation, toil and labor, false person, unexpected income, expectation. It's really interesting having unexpected income right next to expectations. Pull some more cards to see what this is about. We have Thief, Great Fortune, Education, what else do we have here? Coffin, and Poverty. So this is a warning about someone who's trying to take what's rightfully yours. Now, for some, this might be actually about finances. For a lot of you, I feel like it's something else. I feel like most of you know who this person is. This is just confirmation of what your spirit guides and your intuition has already been warning you about. Um, yeah, for a lot of you, it, it for some of you, it is finances. But for a lot of you, I almost feel like it's, I'm hearing it's your birthright. So it might be that you have spiritual gifts, like you have psychic gifts, and this person's jealous of that, or you... You have a really good relationship and this this fake friend is jealous of that. They want that person for themselves or they, you know, they find you more attractive than them, more interesting than them. And it's almost like they're kind of trying to copy you. They're trying to take something that you've earned. Um, I feel like this is somebody who is in a victim mentality a lot of the time. Now this and this could be a this could be a friend. This could also be a family member. This could be a lover, an ex lover. You know, take it as it resonates. But I feel like you've already felt this person sort of sending you the evil eye. Like it might you you know you have to really tune into your intuition into intuition and your body is very intuitive as well. You know, pay attention to who you feel really comfortable around, who you can relax around, and who you just feel uptight around. You know, if you this might be the type of person that everybody just, you know, false person here. They're, look how glamorous she is, he or she. It's like they have, you know, she's wearing this jewelry. She's wearing red. She's seductive. Red is a very seductive color too. So it's like she know he or she knows how to get what they want. Um, they know how, they, they're kind of very glamorous. It's like she's kind of hiding herself behind this right here too. I feel like this is somebody who almost doesn't understand why you have the things that you have. It's like this person looks at you and they just they're, they're in this victim mentality where they're like, you know, I they might they may have worked hard in the past. I'm not sure if they're still working hard. It almost strikes me as somebody who's maybe not working as hard these days, like maybe they used to. And they just feel like with occupation, it's like you see how this woman is like sewing something and she's focused and then toil and labor. You know, we have like both of these are very similar energies. And I feel like this false person sort of sees him or herself in this light. Like they feel like, you know, I worked so hard most of my life. Um, why did this person like win the lottery or why did they get all this money or this inheritance when I've had to work so hard? Like, why don't, why don't I have what they have? Or, you know, if you're blessed with psychic or spiritual gifts, this person is like, you know, I, 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 stu you know, I studied, I, I read up on psychic abilities. I did everything. And this person still has more spiritual gifts than me. I don't understand it. Like basic, basically, um, just a why them and, and why not me kind of mentality. Somebody who's just kind of jealous kind of a fake friend who's basically just sticking around and kind of spying and trying to figure out how you got these blessings, you know, how, how is it that you do what you do? Or it's like, maybe, um, maybe you draw in a lot of men or a lot of women. And this person, it just doesn't understand how you're so how you get so much attention, how so many people are drawn to you. And it, it's like, these people are drawn to you because of who you are on a soul level. It's, it's your energy. 
you know, you might meet a lot of people, like a lot of people from your soul group that you have these past life connections with. Um, your energy, you're a very old soul. You know, you have this this very spiritual, very loving, very like grounded down to earth energy and people feel safe around you. You know, that energy that you possess that that draws people in. And I feel like this this fake friend here, I feel like they just really don't understand that. They're like, they. I think they're very... I want to say they're almost a little shallow too. Like they aren't understanding that it's your soul that's drawing these people in. Like you might be physically attractive, but I think it's it's your eyes, it's your it's your your energy, your charisma, your your free spirited energy, your grounded energy, your um the way that people feel when they're around you. And I feel like this fake person, it's like they're looking at you and they just, they don't understand that. They're like, why does this person get all this attention? Like, where is, you know, where is this coming from? Like, why, why them and not me? Um, and so they're trying to be like you, but they're not able to, and this could even be a third party situation as well. This might be a third party that you're, you know, you might be in love with someone that's like in a karmic situation and the karmic, this might be the karmic that's you know, spying on you, looking on, you know, uh, Facebook or Instagram or social media. It's like the karmics, like, you know, looking at all your posts and your, your updates and, and just kind of wondering, like, how are, how are you able, you know, what it is, a, what is it about you that draws these people in? And they're trying to mimic that. They're, they're, they're trying to to copy your energy and it just doesn't work. They just seem more, they seem fake. Like it, it's, it's obvious what they're doing. Some of them try to dress like you or they try to speak like you, or maybe they're trying to study the same things that you're studying. Maybe um, you might study certain things that people just find. Like, I don't know why I heard archeology span for somebody, but, um, but there's just certain things like that. Like you might, you, you know, you might be going to college or you might just be like, you know, the books that you read, it's like, you're studying things that are really interesting um, and I feel like that interests other people as well. Like you just have all this, like some of you are just like this encyclopedia of just like all this, like, you know, random information and people find that, you know, fascinating. And it's like, this person doesn't have that. They might not be quite as intelligent as you. Um, but yeah, it's like, they're looking at you and they're, they're not understanding it's your energy. So they're like, okay, I'm going to, maybe it's the way that she dresses. So I'm going to start dressing like her. Maybe that will get them. And it, it's like, she's, this person's getting very frustrated because they don't understand why, um, why it's not working. And I feel like this person had an expectation of this like unexpected income. You know what I mean? And, and like I said, for some, this is actually somebody that like wants your money. Like maybe you got an inheritance or you won the lottery or you might just have a better job than they do. And they're, they feel like they worked. This could be somebody who like maybe worked like, you know, 40, 50 hours a week, like at a grocery store or, um, doing some type of like hard labor, some maybe like retail or just something that was like very stressful. And so they're looking at you and they're like, wow, like, I spent 10 years doing this job and giving so much back and like this person just gets this inheritance handed to them or like they get this job promotion and they just, you know, they just get ahead that easily. Like, why not me? And like I said, you really have to be careful with like people like this because it's like you can't really, you can't share your good news with them. That's how you know this isn't a true friend for those of you. And like I said, for some, this is like a third party. So this is not someone you're friends with anyway. But for others of you, this is like a frenemy type and, you know, you, you have to listen to your body, how you feel tight, like, ner like uncomfortable around them, or you feel like you have to hold back. You feel like you can't be your true self around this person, or you feel like if you tell them good news, like I got a promotion or I'm dating somebody, it, it's like, you can kind of tell with their energy, with the way they, the word, their body language, the way they word things, you can tell that they're not really happy for you. They're just, they're plotting they're trying to, you know, figure out how to one up you. And, um, yeah, they, they thought that they would just, they thought that they would just copy you and, and steal this from you, steal this birthright for you, from you. Um, for some it's actual finances. Like they, you know, they're trying, they want that money or they, they, want to figure out how to manifest that money for themselves. Like they don't believe that you deserve to have it. This could, I'm almost feeling like this could actually be a family member that doesn't want you to have your inheritance. Like this could be like a jealous, like cousin or brother or sister or something like that, that just 
feels like you don't deserve it. Like maybe you were close to one of your relatives and they weren't as close to them and they're trying to go to family members and they're trying to tell them like, hey, like this person is, they haven't been around or they haven't done as much as I have. Like you shouldn't give them that much in the inheritance, you know? Um, so for some, it's money for others. It's just like your psychic gifts or it's like they want, they want something that you have, you know, it's going to be different for everybody. For some, that's, that's your partner your boyfriend and girlfriend, your blessings, your money, your abundance. Um, they don't understand that these things are your birthright. And so it's like this person has this expectation that, you know, that they're just going to be handed this. It's like this, this thief wants to steal your fortune. And I actually feel like your spirit guides, for some, this could actually be a legal situation where this, per the, you know, your spirit guides are actually coming in and placing a judgment here. What's on the back? I don't know why I was I was drawn to that that seal right there. Hmm. Anyway, um, yeah, I feel like for some this could be like a, a like a actual physical judge that's that's putting an end to this. Like there's some kind of shady shit going on, like something shady going on here. There's something off. And so somebody is going to get caught. Like this person might actually get caught if they're trying to steal something from you. For for the majority of you, I'd say like 80, 80 to 90% of you, I actually feel like this is more of a spiritual judge. Like I feel, and it could be two people plotting against you. It could be a male and a female too. But I, I do feel like your spirit guides are stepping in here and they're saying no. Like this is... This is this person's good karma. This is your good karma, whether it's money and inheritance that's supposed to come in or whether it's psychic abilities, whether it's, you know, you're with your soulmate or your twin flame and this person wishes that they had that kind of love. Whatever it is, I feel like your spirit guides know that you earned that, that you deserved that, that that's, you know, in the Akeshic records, it's like that's part of, you know, your your destiny this lifetime. Like that's you you have those soul contracts like you you were meant to whatever it is that you have that this person wants, you were meant to have it like you were destined to have this. This is this abundance that's coming in. It's not just a coincidence. Like if you do get like a like, you know, winning the lotto or something like that, like that was meant to happen for you. And that's like, that's only for like one or two of you, like most aren't going to like win like that much money necessarily. But I mean, it might just be like an inheritance or or something else, um, or spiritual abilities. But yeah, your your spirit guides are putting an end to this. They're, they're calling judgment here. This person, this false person is actually going to end up in spiritual poverty is what I'm feeling. Like they're, whatever they wanted to take from you is going to be taken from them instead. So if they were trying to take money, if they were trying to be a gold digger or a hustler, um, their, their money, they're not, they're not going to be able to manifest money because they're such a selfish person because they have that energy. They're not, you know, money is an energy. Like money isn't, there is an abundance of, of money out there. Like you can align with the energy of money. You can align with that energy. You can manifest money in your life. It can come from unexpected sources. And this person isn't spiritual or wise enough to understand that. You know what I mean? They, they, they come from this victim kind of lack mentality. So they feel like money is just something that they have to, they have to steal or they have to fight for. Or they have to hustle people into, you know, making them feel sorry for them and giving them money. But, um, but yeah, because it's like, they don't understand like universal energies they are not spiritual enough. They're not open-minded enough. They're not, they're not willing to learn their karmic lessons and become a better person. They're just repeating karmic cycles again and again and again. I actually feel like this toxic person probably, um, came here this lifetime to pay off some karmic debt and do things differently. And it looks like so far, this person is pretty much just repeating the same karmic cycles that they've repeated in past lives as well. And you know, it's, it's not your circus, not your monkeys. It's not something that you want to deal with. You are divinely protected here. Um, but yeah, whatever they wanted to take, you're going to have justice basically is what I'm getting with these cards here. You know, spirit guides are putting an end to this. Whatever they wanted to take from you is going to be taken from them instead. 
like or, or they're just not ever going to be able to manifest it like if it's love like if this person wanted to steal your significant other they're they're pretty much just going to keep being alone they're not they're not going to manifest like true love or anything just because and i'm not saying like oh haha ha, like you know like screw them i mean it, it's sad it really is sad um being in that mentality i mean that's not a good place to be but um and it's not i mean it's not so much punishment as it is just the universe matching their energies matching it, it's that vibration they're putting out it's what they're aligning with you know, it's, it's like, I always make the point that you don't really want to interrupt someone's bad karma because it's just going to, it's it's not going to go away until they learn that karmic lesson. Like, let's say, let's say someone bullied homeless people in their past lives or even this lifetime. Let's like, let's say they just looked down on homeless people. They bullied homeless people. And then, you know, years down the road, they end up in a bad financial situation and they're homeless themselves. It's not like the universe saying like, ha ha, you deserve this. I'm punishing you. It's, it's just, it's karma. It's, you know, it, it's the universe balancing the skills. They, they had to go through that homelessness so that they know what that feels like, so that they know how lonely that is, how stressful that is. It, it's basically just opening this person's mind up and showing them that so that they can have empathy for, for homeless people, so that they can have that balance. So, you know, that's kind of how I view karma in a lot of ways. And a lot of karma comes from past lives, too. And we just, you know, we we are balancing that karma this lifetime. So, but yeah, either way, um, they're just, they're not going to be able to align whatever they're trying to steal from you. They're not going to be able to align with it and manifest it for themselves. Um, you have a lot of justice coming in, in. You have, let's see. They're basically going to have to watch you be blessed and they're, they're never going to understand why this person's never going to understand why you have what they don't have, you know? Imprisonment lovers, sudden wealth. Yeah. A lot of you have abundance coming in because you've been, a you know, you've, you've put that good energy into the universe. You, you care about people. You're a genuine person. You're aligning with this energy of love. You're aligning with this energy of, of wealth. You're a master manifester. And it's like, I almost feel like this, this little mouse right here is like this person's like spirit guide, like trying to, trying to tell them that they're an eight of swords energy and that they're repeating karmic cycles. And they have a chance to, you know, to end these karmic cycles and to, you know, balance the scales and be a better person. And they, they will, you know, they're in such a low vibration that it's like they can't really manifest anything in their life. It's not like the universe is like trying to punish them and, you know, out for, you know, trying to punish them for the lulls or whatever. It's, it's, it's like they're doing it to themselves. And this little mouse right here is like trying to convince them, you know, to do better and they're just they're so upset they feel so trapped that it's like they're not listening but but you're being protected from it you know you're empathic and you have to protect yourself because there's a lot of people like this that will just drain you and they will just take and take and take from you and it will never be enough whatever you give them they will just want more and more and more and it's like you can't fix people like that you know what I mean like they have to learn their karmic lessons otherwise you're just gonna go on that merry-go-round with them it's not worth it your spirit guides want to protect you they want to bring you love money abundance we have seven 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 here lots of good energy coming in for you because you're in that alignment with it you know like you've balanced I feel like you've paid most of your your negative karmic debt this lifetime I feel like you've done a lot of um like, I don't know if it's like charity work or just giving people advice or just being just a genuine, good, honest person. I feel like you've really balanced the karmic scale. So, you know, you know, might have your little ups and downs here and there. But overall, I feel like you have pretty good karma and some pretty good things coming in here. So anyway, if this is your reading and you want a private reading, just email me at dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Again, you can find the email right below in the description box if you need the, the spelling of it. Um, please like and share and subscribe. I appreciate you guys commenting just so that, you know, I'll be back in the algorithm and YouTube will promote my videos again. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching.